Hi, my name is Dovo Chalani. I'm currently working in Dr. Konstantinos Thalassinos lab, which uses mass spectrometry to see a variety of things in structural biology. So the aim of my project is to identify the binding affinities of a novel tetrapeptide and its uh, binding affinity to uh, alpha-1 antitrypsin and one of its mutants to see whether it is a, could be a therapeutic agent. I didn't have any predetermined ideas on what it was like to be working in a research lab, but it was completely different from what had been taught in practicals tutorials. So it was a very uh, good eye-opener for me and a very enjoyable experience as well. So this uh, therapeutic agent will be potentially usable to stop aggregation of alpha-1 antitrypsin, which uh, causes not only liver cirrhosis, but pulmonary disorders such as COPD. So if this technically works as a drug, then it could be useful in the future to stop such diseases. Uh, in my project, I use mass spectrometry, which uh, is a technique uh, that uh, compares, in my particular case, two uh, different uh, mass to charge ratios of a bound protein sample with a ligand and an unbound sample, and what conditions they have in order to bind the tetrapeptide. So this is the needle puller. Um, we will need this to uh, pull needles from borosilicate glass capillary tubes. One tube will be put in through one side and locked to the other side with a metal filament that heats up to a considerable temperature. The filament in the middle goes red hot three times before finally pulling the, the capillary tubes apart and there you have two um, electrospray needles. That's the finished um, glass plate with the, all the capillary tubes. They can now be taken to be gold coated now. So removing the lid of the glass plate, it's inserted into the, the chamber of this gold coater and the argon is switched on and so is the vacuum pump to pump out all the oxygen from inside the chamber and replace by argon. This is done so the oxygen doesn't react with the gold when the capillary tubes are being coated with gold. So once the oxygen has been displaced by the argon at a considerable pressure, then it can be checked by applying the voltage and the current traveling through the argon molecules uh, produces this purple appearance inside the chamber. And that means that the plate is ready to be coated in gold. And here's the final finished product of the needles. They're all gold coated and ready to be used for electrospray. Now the protein sample needs to be prepared. In order to do so, we need to purify the sample and put it into a volatile buffer. I'm using ammonium acetate for this one. Usually to purify, we use a combination of both membrane and gel filtration techniques. Once the samples are essentially purified, then they are inverted and respun in order to collect the, the filtered content. One of the needles is pulled out of the plate and connected to this small nut that will be put inside the mass spectrometer. But first, the needle needs to be loaded with the sample. Now the fine end of the needle needs to be cut in order to allow fluid to escape. It is loaded onto the mass spectrometer. Technical replicates are required in order to obtain reliable data. The fine end of the needle can be now seen very close to the sampling cone where the sample will travel through. Settings need to be delicately altered in order to allow good high throughput data. Here we can see detection and formation of a mass spectra of uh, cytochrome C. So the data is accumulated and collected into a spectra, which happens over a time frame of around three minutes. The data is now being processed and smoothed, which can then be analyzed. And here we have a final result. What I've enjoyed most about the project is actually um, working with a mass spectrometer because I've, uh, since A-levels, learned so much about a mass spectrometer and how it can produce data, but actually getting to grips with it and playing with it, it's, it's a new experience to me. So I enjoyed that quite a lot.